Greatest musical. It's the one that you want. It's in Glasgow this week and it's heading for Edinburgh later in the summer. Yep, and three of the stars dropped in for a chat earlier to tell us all about it. So it's a big welcome to Tom Parker, who plays Danny, and Danielle Hope, who plays Sandy, alongside our very own Gary Lamont. Guys, welcome to the Woo! show. Good to see you. Um, Gary, we're going to start with you, because yeah. we didn't give you the full introduction there. Tell us who you play. So I'm playing Vince Fontaine and the Teen Angel. I've got a wee double casting. Two Excellent. characters, one show. It's great. This is so, and this is, your, this is the first time you've joined the show. It's eight weeks into the run, so not yeah. just one character, but two. Not one, but two. <laughs> it's, yeah, so d double the workload, double the pressure, but double <laughs> the fun as well. Uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's a total... My, my, my brain is fried with it, yeah. but in the best possible way. A it's good amazing. Fried. Mm. Good <laughs> fried, yeah. yeah, yeah it's it been like great fun. Friend. And I only left River City a week and a half ago. I finished them Friday, started with these guys on the Tuesday. So, yeah, my, you don't my... give yourself much breathing. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's got, got to take the gigs. That's <laughs> it. You've got big bills to pay. Self employed. <laughs> Self. Listen, this lifestyle does the pay for itself, let's be honest. Tom, yeah. we know you from The Wanted, and yeah. we've all been living under a rock. <laughs> one of the country's most successful bands. Now you're joining one of the most successful musicals. How did it happen? What, what was the progress? So, originally, I went for the part that Gary's playing. Oh, awkward. Yeah, right. I know. Oh, right. so I mean, that's why Daniel's better. in the middle there. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> separating us. <laughs> um, yeah, so originally they saw me for that part, and they a couple of weeks later they, they called me back and was like, listen, would you like to come in and, and play the part of Danny? Um, so, I mean, I did, and I got the part, but it, it was still... Everything was a bit of a shock, to be honest, because I've never done yeah. theatre before. Yeah. Like, obviously, I played in theatres with the band, but never done anything to this kind of, you know, level. So it was a... It was definitely a, a bit of a, a shock and it's been a massive learning curve. What was the hardest thing for you to get your head around then from going from the band into something like this? Uh, I think the discipline of it. I mean, the Wanted were... We were pretty wild. <laughs> I know. Uh, and we kind of... We, we were kind of just left to our own devices a little bit, but with theatre, everything's really, like, schedule and, you know, everything runs on time. You run to their rules instead mm. of your own rules. Yeah. So that's definitely been a bit of a learning curve. Yeah, and you go back to school, literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Daniel, for you, it all started with Over the Rainbow, musical theatre. How does this feel compared to that? Um, completely different in terms of the television programme, but this is the second time that I've um, been on tour and in Glasgow as mm. well. Um, so it's great to be back and I love live theatre. I am very used to the schedule. <laughs> um, so I think when I do different kinds of work, I'm like, wow, there's so much freedom and time. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's, it's been amazing. We've been on the road now for I think eight, nine weeks or so. Yeah. Um, and Gary's just joined us for Glasgow, which is fantastic. Yeah. And we're all loving being here. Well, we can see uh, a clip of you in action on the screen right now. But you must have the hardest job, Danielle, keeping these two in check or showing them the ropes, perhaps? Oh, I mean, I do my best, but they're wild. <laughs> no, we all look after each other and it's been amazing. I mean, we had. We met you for a few days, I, I think, was, right? Two, day, two and a half days I've had to be wow. rehearsed into this. Straight in. And everybody genuinely, without being like all suck up, like everybody has been so nice and welcoming and friendly and helpful. Like e even the guy that was doing doing my role, George and, and Sunderland, he's been like coming to my room going, Do you need any tips? Is, is everything okay? Yeah. And I'm like, he's gonna throw me down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> he's been so sweet. It's like everybody's been so, so sweet and welcoming and it's been a total dream. It's been a total dream. And what can fans expect from the show at the Kings then, Daniel? Um, everything that you need and love from mm -hmm. the film, mm -hmm. all the familiar moments, the familiar songs, um, but they are in slightly different orders of the film. There is um, a couple differences, which I think is great. It yeah. keeps it zesty and fresh. Um, just a load of energy. These two are amazing, as is the rest of the cast, and Louisa Litton, who plays Rizzo. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many of us, and everyone is giving 100%, and it's, it's just a fantastic show. You can't not love Grease. No, you, you can't, can't not, not sing along. I love how you use the word zesty on TV. That was my favourite <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> Oh my Zesty. god, yes! Zesty. I'm fresh, I love that! <laughs> Zesty the musical. You're easy, please! <laughs> I, I really am, I love that, I was so um, happy when she said that. We can see the Kings in Glasgow till next Saturday, mm. yes? Yes. Uh, weeks. And then uh, later on in the year in Edinburgh as well. Guys, thank you for joining us, good luck with the show. Cheers, thank, thank you. you.